Ah, yes. Discipline, the force that builds character, respect, and if done properly, doesn't turn you into a dickhead around elders like some people I grew up with. So when I was 10, back in my hometown, there was this white boy down the street that I used to hang out with outside from time to time. We're gonna call him by his nickname I gave him, Gizmo. Cause he acted like one of them little gremlins from, well, gremlins. We were street friends, but we were from two different worlds. For example, all the basic home training and discipline I got growing up, he had the opposite. Why? Well, cause his parents were pussies. Ain't no way I'm treating my parents like he did and not ending up on a t-shirt. Ain't nobody gonna slide for me. Bro, I'm an adult and I still say yes ma'am, no sir. The first time and last time I ever seen this thing in action was the day that he asked me to have a sleepover at his house and it was also the first time i done ever went over the stereotypical middle class white person's house so everything that i experienced was new to me so i get my parents permission i have my folks meet his folks because my parents didn't believe in letting me go over some rando's house that they didn't know and i don't blame them because you got me 50 shades of freaked up if you think i'm gonna be in a get out situation mm -mm -mm. when i say this experience was like a movie bro i should have wore 3d glasses because everything i witnessed had me shook like an iphone notification so i get inside and the first thing i noticed was that it smelled like straight wet dog in there like who been living in here crypto his mom's like hey honey you and Devante want some cookies he like shut up donna we're not hungry yet i'm like whoa first of all listen buddy if i ever call my parents by their first names I'd be the first name on a grave site. Like, what's wrong with this little dude? Second of all, I don't speak Italian. So who is this we you speak of? I would love a cookie. Now, even though I just witnessed blasphemy, this ain't my house. So anything that went on in there was none of my business, no my concern. So I continued to stay cordial and calm. So while we walk into his room, right? I'm looking in the living room, there's hair everywhere on the couch the floors the tv stands the counters like bro who do y'all got shedding in here jada pinkett i see why my great grandma used to put plastic over her couch because of stuff like this and don't even get me started on his room Ugh. when we got in there i seen his console collection bro was spoiled this was back in 2009 so he had a gamecube a game boy a game boy advance a psp a playstation 1 2 and 3 an atari a sega genesis a nintendo DS, a Nintendo 64, a Sega Saturn, a Boombox, a 2001 iPod, a Sega Dreamcast, a Mega Drive, and a Famicom. Bro, to this day, I still don't know how the freak he got his hands on those two, because they were Japan exclusive. You couldn't get those in America back in 2009, unless you were like Bill Gates. Gizmo dad must have been a part of like a game console cartel or something. I don't know. All I know is, is he had it all. Even had his own gateway way computer his own personal gateway computer i wish i had that back then because back at my house we had a family computer that i had to wait my turn to use or didn't get a turn at all i ain't gonna cap i was mad jelly because i ain't have none of this back at the house except a playstation 2 seeing all that made me never want to leave until I went to use the bathroom on the other side of the house. Oh my gosh, y'all. I had to pass through the kitchen and the living room and on my way to excrete bodily fluids, I saw his mama cooking food. She put her bare fingers in the food and taste tested the food, bruh. Oh my gosh, somebody come get her. She turned into a liquor. Bro, I almost wanted to throw up. And oh no, it gets worse. Her other son walks in the kitchen, gets on top of the counter, puts his disgusting, dirty feet on top of the counter where she was preparing the food. Man, somebody come get Jack Jack. Somebody come get they child. Mind you, little dude just came back from playing with the dog in the backyard. Do you know how many pots and pans will fly across my head if I did some junk like this? I'm gonna let y'all take a guess. All of them. Now again, even though I just witnessed blasphemy, this ain't my house and I ain't eat that food. So anything that went on in that house was none of my business, nor my concern. So I continued to stay cordial and calm until I got back to the room. I'm walking back. First thing I hear down the hallway. F you, Donna. 
But this time, she was actually arguing with Gizmo. I'm like, ah, oh, here it go again. From the minute I heard them yelling down the hallway to the minute I walked back into the room, they were going at it. Rah, 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 rah. Milk and cookies. Rah, 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 rah. Ketchup and mustard. He calling her all out her name. Everything under the sun. I'm sitting there like, if I ever would have said something like that to my parents, I would have ended up on channel five. And I know for a fact y'all smoking some dick if you think I tried to calm down the situation. Like, who finna intervene? Huh, not me. Let them argue. That ain't my problem. This already crazy enough that I'm witnessing a dysfunctional household before my nuts dropped. I ain't even know what dysfunctional meant back then. This was none of my business, nor my concern. I just sat there shocked, but still cordial and calm. Until he slapped her. That was my breaking point. I was like, okay, it's time for me to go. Ain't no way I just saw what I saw. I am shooketh, big fella. I grabbed my stuff and left and walked back down the street to my house. They was too busy arguing and fighting to notice. And luckily, it was 7 o'clock, so still, there was a little bit of light outside before sundown. Best believe I never talked to Gizmo ever again. Saw him on the block after that a couple times. And each time, I look the opposite direction. Oh! Hey, listen. Welcome back, second channel. Everybody know me in the village. Ask about me. Okay, reload it. Try not to look. I gotta keep a pop up. Oh, yeah. With a red ribbon on me. Red ribbon on me. Fly away on them bus. Yeah. Headed up the commies. Headed up the I need me a bag full of sensor to get me back started. You don't even know how I've been through. The straight is hyperbolic. I ain't had a session in a minute, but I'm back. Let me finish. I'ma throw on the shade. I'm the same with the pivot. I can't throw it away. Yeah, you know I'm mellow in it. Rock a house like a gang. Matter of fact, I'm about to head to the lookout. I know niggas plotting, so I'm always on the lookout. Keep a bobble, cause your role might be right. It's covered in gold. I draw, it'll take me to the top. I'm gonna keep a pop up. Put a red ribbon on me.